Hi, in this video I will show you how to create a part like this in Plasticity. I will start a new project. And here we will begin by drawing two circles on the XY plane. I am choosing to draw a circle from the center and I will use the grid snap every 10 millimeters. I will draw the first circle right here with a diameter of 20 millimeters. As you can see, we have grid snapping enabled and we can easily specify dimensions every 10 millimeters. So here we have point X0, Y0. Now I will move away 30 millimeters in the other direction. Here I place the center of the circle. To set the diameter of the circle to 20 millimeters, I click here. And we have created a circle with a diameter of 20 millimeters because one grid square measures 10 by 10 millimeters. Now I will show you an interesting function for drawing a circle, which is a tangent circle. We select this function, and now we need to select the two circles to which this circle will be tangent. Here we can turn off the grid snapping and draw a circle like this. Now I see that these two smaller circles are a bit too far apart. So I select this circle and choose the move command. Here I will again enable the grid snapping every 10 millimeters and I move this circle here. I click OK. I do the same thing with this circle. I select this circle, press G and move this circle to this point. OK, I don't need this circle right now, so I select this circle and press delete. Once again, I select the tangent circle drawing function, but I will turn off the grid snapping and change the grid dimension. I choose to draw this circle, select the first circle and the second circle, and I draw this circle like this. Now I would like to get the same circle on the other side, so at this moment I will use the mirror command. I select this circle, choose the mirror command, and specify the mirror plane. I click OK. This way, we created something like this. Now we can trim the unnecessary parts of the geometry. I select the trim command, and select this part of the circle, this part of the circle, and these parts of these circles. I click OK, and we have this shape. Now we select this shape, and add an extrusion of 5 millimeters. We select the shape, the extrude command is automatically activated, and we add an extrusion of 5 millimeters. To specify a specific extrusion value, we use the D key, so we press the D key on the keyboard, and then press the 5 key to specify the height of this extrusion. We confirm it by pressing Enter. And OK, we have this part. Now we will create another fragment of this solid here. First, we will create a circle on this face. I select this face, press the spacebar to activate the temporary construction plane. Here I choose to draw a circle from the center and draw a circle whose center will be in this location with a diameter of 7 millimeters. To specify the exact diameter of the circle, I press tab and type 7, hit enter. We have created a circle with a diameter of 7 millimeters. I close the temporary construction plane and now we will create a path for the extrusion of this circle. Choose the arc drawing command from three points. To do this, hover the cursor over this location, press and hold the left mouse button then hover the cursor over that command and release the left mouse button. I place the first point of the arc here. Next I place the second point of the arc here and I place the third point of the arc on the z-axis or hover over the z-axis to activate the arc drawing in that direction. Because we can also draw the arc in this direction, but we hover over the z-axis to draw the arc in this direction. We press the tab key and enter 20 millimeters here. We press enter and we have created something like this. 
Now, to add the extrusion of this profile along this path, we select this profile and choose the sweep command. We select this profile and click OK to confirm it. This way, we created something like this. This is an easy simple method, but we can also do it differently. I will turn off the visibility of this solid fragment and turn off the visibility of this arc. I will also turn off the visibility of the remaining flat geometries, except for the circle. We can also approach this by using the revolve operation. Select this circle, select the area of this circle, and choose the revolve operation. Now we need to specify the axis around which this circle will be rotated. We need to select two points. Let's select the first point here. Once we have indicated the first point here, the construction lines become active. As a second point, let's click here so that the axis is a line passing through the center of this solid on the upper face of this solid. When we have something like this, we click OK. Now, in this case, we only need the upper fragment of this solid, so we need to use the Boolean operation. Let's select these two solids in the element list with the control key and activate the Boolean command. As you can see, the difference operation is selected by default, which will subtract the second specified solid from the first specified solid. We don't want that. We also have the intersect operation, which will result in the common part of both elements, but we also have the slice operation. Select this operation and click OK. We have all parts available in the drawing, but as you can see these elements now look like this. These two solids were cut in such a way that they were separated into individual solids. The first solid is the result of the sweep operation, while the remaining solids are the result of the boolean operation, where we chose the slice operation. Now, we do not need this bottom solid, so I select this solid and press delete, and we will combine these solids together. I select all these solids in the element list, or we can select all these solids in the workspace. but here make sure you have solid selection mode enabled. Then we activate the boolean operation by pressing the Q key on the keyboard. Here we also activate the union operation, so we press the Q key again and confirm it with the right mouse button. This way we have created such a solid. As you can see in this case we achieved the same effect by approaching it in two different ways. Now we can also add fillers to all the edges of this solid, select the entire solid, press the keyboard shortcut control 2 to convert the selection of the solid into the selection of the edges. Here let's add a small radius. Click OK. This way we have created something like this. There is another way to approach this type of operation. In the previous example, I also wanted to show you how the boolean operation works, but you can do it without it. You can simply use the revolve operation and specify the appropriate angle. Even though it was a very simple example, I was able to show some interesting features of plasticity here, and we will finish this here. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel.